Good evening, my friends. Did Beijing Biden have a medical emergency tonight on Air Force One? I don't know. You'll get into my theory on that here in a second, but I was watching the Biden interview on ABC News with Stepanopoulos, who was fair at best. They weren't really softballs, but they weren't really hard-hitting questions. And Biden did not do anything to help himself. For the love of God, he said, goodest, goodest, the president. Okay, so during that live stream, I was on Rumble, someone someone posted that Laura Loomer said that Biden had a medical emergency, so I immediately looked into it, and of course she is reporting this. Uh, it may or may not have happened, I don't know, but we'll see. I think the end is nigh for the Beijing Biden campaign. Now, Tom Fitton, two days ago, Judicial Watch does God's work says Joe Biden's resigning from office next Monday. Now, this kind of lines up with my theory that he is going to resign on Monday if he's not dead, basically. So, let's just get into what Laura Loomer has to say. Let's refresh this to see what this guy... She's got really fake lips, by the way. She's sort of attractive, maybe a little greasy for me, but also a Jew. Sorry, skip down here. I'm a journalist. She doesn't divulge her sources. Uh, Biden did have it. This is 14 minutes ago. We're going in reverse chronological order here. Uh, Medical emergency on a plane, the Air Force One, which is why the reporters were abruptly told they couldn't travel with him while they were waiting for his plane to arrive. If he didn't have a medical emergency, reporters would have been able to travel with him as scheduled. So again, they're trying to... Alex is trying to debunk her... And and again, this is I hate kind of hate doing these stories because it's really really just kind of still fluid at the moment. So oh shit, look at this. Uh, ABC's official transcript has Biden saying "goodest." I did the goodest job as I know I can do, and it was just meandering, just not. It was basically gibberish. He said he 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 fucking uh, started NATO. <laughs> Okay, so again, immediately after Biden's medical emergency today, the campaign canceled events all over the country, including an upcoming fundraiser in Wisconsin, which is later this month, and an event this Sunday in Philadelphia. They did this because he had uh, a medical emergency, basically, was the next statement. Alex Jones tried to get a hold of her, was unsuccessful. Biden was scheduled to have a campaign event in Pennsylvania this Sunday, after he had a medical emergency on Air Force One today, his events in Philadelphia were canceled. Now, this is curious. This is a red flag for me. Before the cancellation, the Secret Service reportedly reserved a room inside an ER instead of Biden, in, ahead of Biden's visit. Now, this is in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Now, I don't know if you know geography. I do. Harrisburg and Philadelphia are about two hours apart, I believe. Not really sure the scale of Pennsylvania. They feel about two hours apart for me, because judging on the distance. Uh, let's see. The Biden medical emergency has the entire Democrat Party shook. It's shaken. 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 Okay, let's not fuck up language here. Biden campaign canceled the fundraiser schedule for this month in Wisconsin. Several other events across the country may be canceled as well. Now, he may have had a medical emergency. He's old. He's fucked up. He's decrepit. And he's got serious cognitive decline, but uh, there's a Matt Laura Loomer's claiming massive cover-up taking place by Biden HQ right now. That they're having to explain to the press why they pulled their press access today when they were told they'd be traveling with Joe Biden. He had a medical emergency, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this was reported three hours ago, so we let it bake for three hours. They're canceling events all over the place. They're, they know it's true. They're racing to cover it up. I, again, Occam's Razor says, today Joe Biden threw in the towel and said, look, sorry, Dr. Jill, who I, I don't know if you heard, she's a legit doctor, and look, we, we, we can't do this anymore. I, I'm, I'm done. He claimed that his his poor performance was due to a cold and fatigue, even though he had 12 days, like 12 days or was it 8 days, I forget, uh, to basically just chill out, separated from everything, no press conferences, doing nothing but debate prep for, let's just, let's just use benefit of the doubt, 8 fucking days, shit. That's that's what you came out with too, by the way. And then now there's like they over prepared. There's just ob- obvious excuses. It's a bunch of bullshit. Canceled events. Uh, oh my God, massive cover up. I've seen that already. 
this is an this is a reporter that was supposed to go to Delaware with uh, Beijing Biden. Currently waiting for Air Force One arrival at Dane County Regional Airport. This is nine hours ago. A small group of local reporters, including me, were set to travel with President Biden to a handful of other stops today. We've now been told we don't have transportation and won't be doing so. And then down here, there was here it is. This is a, a press pool. When the, the president's motorcade arrived, the press did not see the president, but that's not uncommon. So, uh, so <laughs> Palestine, so protesters were free Palestine. You can't re- repent for genocide. Genocide is never justified. Denounce Israel's war crimes. That also may be a factor in Biden's pulling out because they're fucked, man. I'm sorry. Democrats are absolutely just... They, they <laughs> line their horses on, on <laughs> behind the wrong, behind the wrong wagon, my friends. They just can't. Leftoids, man, you cannot, you cannot appease the far left enough, and they're gonna get just roasted by them. They can't appease the centrist leftists, which are actually borderline sane, and the far leftoids, which are just absolutely batshit crazy. Because they're com- just completely off the rails. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Way too long. Six minutes. No one's going to watch this. So if you like my content, hit subscribe, like button, notification bell, leave me a comment, I read all the comments, my friends. Pick up some non-perishable food, and God bless.